<sighs> what up everybody all right so today is friday i signed up for fuel run so i'm going on the rally and this morning i was going to put my tires in my car and when i put them in i ripped my fucking rear view mirror off and it broke my windshield so i said fuck it brought my tires got my tires put on went to tire stickers and had fuck bitches get money Put on the tires, front and back, and now I'm getting a new windshield. Luckily, this dude found one, and so I have installation going on right now, and then I've got to quickly wash my car because it's filthy, and take my ass to Newport Beach in time to leave for fuel. You guys need a windshield, hit up Discount Auto Glass. They found me a windshield within 15 minutes. Picked it up from Riverside, brought it here, and putting it on same day. It was a little pricey, but hey, gotta pay to play. I'm stressed. Fucking windshield. That's 2400 plus insulation. It's like 2625. Wasted on bringing tires to the shop. Done it before, had no problem. Fucking idiot, pisses me off. But what am I gonna do? Luckily, one was found, and hopefully I make it to the starting grid on time. Um, I talked to Amy from Fuel Run. She said they're not gonna leave till eight. This guy said he should be done around six. So that'll put me in Newport around seven, 7.30, and I should make it in time for the starting fucking takeoff. Hi. If you guys want to follow me because Nathan just passed me on Twitter, I mean on Tik, on YouTube, I really appreciate his friends telling in his comments. I just wanted to let that know. If anyone understood that, <laughs> I didn't. Whoever edit, can you put a translator on the bottom, please? I have no idea what she said. She's trying to get a free shout out because I passed her up on YouTube, boy! So make sure you like, subscribe to my channel. To my channel. And turn on the post notifications because I'm going to be dropping a new vlog every week. I, I wear a very low cut shirt. Just like putting on she puts on makeup, so if you guys like to watch makeup tutorials, then go ahead, you know, go ahead. <laughs> Don't do it. So we're on our way to Newport. Got the new windshield installed. Fucking forgot what it looks like to look out of a nice windshield. I bet fucking rock chips for the last three, four months now. But uh, it's taped. He said I can't take the tape off for 24 hours. I shouldn't drive fast and some other stuff I forgot. But I am definitely driving fast. Oh, and you're not supposed to wash your car. I washed my car about five minutes after he was done. But we're on our way. Keep you in the loop. Got Pops with me. Hey, what's up? To take him on his first rally, see what he thinks. Scare him a little bit. You can't scare me. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> because I washed my car after I fucking got my windshield put on, the tape is flapping in the wind, so I'm just gonna take it off. Later in this vlog, we will see if this was a bad idea or not. It's fucking peeling anyways. We'll find out if it's a bad idea later tonight. I guess it'll make for a good vlog, huh? My windshield flies off when I'm doing 200. These tires turned out sick. Fuck bitches, get money, boy. Yee. All right, so we're at the rally starting point. Someone told me to come around the corner and check out this M8 with a giant cock on the back window. Holy moly. Sick Hopefully he one. doesn't notice it and he drives off in that motherfucker because that'd be hilarious. All right, let's go check out all the cars. That's this big ass fucking Jeep. Of course, we got my bitch right here. Look at this fucking thing. This thing is fucking dope. Shit ton of carbon on this point, fucking. Why check this thing out? A little Christmas tree on top. <laughs> Wrapping paper. How oh, the fuck is that gonna stay? It's kind of dark out here. I don't know if you guys can see all these whips. A little bit too dark. Damn, that's just sick. 
The GT3R. That shit is super sick. We got some dope cars coming on this rally. These are the farmers I was working on. Them. Well, time to get a little food, chill for a minute, and then we can go. Eddie's world. Getting some gas. <sighs> we just fucking mobbed. So after that car wreck, I was at the back of the pack. We fucking took off from there. Passed pretty much everybody but like six or seven cars. And we got to Eddie's world. Pretty much the front of the pack. Homeboy's Christmas wrap came off. <laughs> well, I was good on that side. I love this rally. Such a fun fucking rally. Oh man. My tire stickers are coming off. Going too fast. We hit 178, like right before this exit. Oh, I can hear the fucking pack coming in. All right, I'm gonna finish getting fuel. Then we'll go inside Eddie's World, get some beef jerky. The best part of Eddie's World is the jerky bar. All the jerky you can fucking want. But there's no bitch behind the counter to sell it to us. I hate wearing a fucking mask. You got all the candy you can want too. Every fucking candy. Look at all this shit. It's like Willy Wonka's fucking chocolate factory in this bitch. They got jerky over here. What do we want? Ooh, some habanero. Some Carolina Reaper. Fuck that. Did you see that shit happen? Yeah, bro. Nobody that's with us. <laughs> We're at the uh, second stop, the world's tallest thermometer on the way to Vegas. Let's grab our second poker chip. Well, hand them on over, buddy. Thank there you, you sir. Dude, this wrap is trippy. Like, color changing fucking shit. That's got a warning because it's 35 degrees outside. Frosted, baby! It said caution frost right here. It says 35 degrees right there. We're still mobbing. This is probably the slowest we've gone. We were trying to 
to show the speedometer at 200. We hit it. I'm a witness. I'm Nate's dad. <laughs> I watched it happen. Last bill run, I did 196 in my uh, S65. We just hit 200. Finally, I'm in the 200 mile an hour club, baby. I was trying to get it on film. Like, that's why I started filming, but whatever. We hit it. I'll get that shit on the way back. But we're getting into Vegas. So All right, we made it. We were at the end of fuel run. Let's see what's going on on the inside. Happy I hit the uh, 200 club. That was pretty fucking badass. Oh my God. My car was like shaking. It's like I just held on that bitch though. What do we got in here? Ooh. Check this out. Welcome. A double VW. Like a clean Karma Gia. Oh, what is this thing? The Tamandas? I don't even know how to say that. It's a Pantera. Like a kick car. Like a fucking 350 in that bitch. It's a kick car. Time to eat. One hour later. Wait, what happened? You shaved my head and left a rat tail. Yeah, he's filming this. Yeah, Nathan <laughs> shaved my head, gave me a rat tail, and let me go out clubbing and sport it. Uh -huh. And he said the gays were all into that shit. <laughs> oh my god. That's yeah. too fucking funny. I guess I got his that. I don't even remember that. Oh. I think you're making that up. No, dude, that's a fact. What brought this on? This fool comes in the bathroom? Because, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Shut up, bitch. This fucking... No, this motherfucker has a gun. I can't <laughs> see what I'm doing. Make sure they open it. Well, we made it to Aria in the 200 Club. <laughs> we got here safe and sound. Now it's time to go play some roulette. Time to get dressed and get our ass to the club or to the casino. So on the way in to the room, my dad got lost in the lobby. He was right behind me and then all of a sudden I look back, he's gone. He calls me and he couldn't fucking find the lobby. I'm like, dad, look at the signs that say hotel lobby. I am, it says go up these escalators. I'm like, no, before the escalators, you gotta go right. Didn't listen, 20 minutes later, finally found his way to the fucking chicken. I just sent him out for ice. <laughs> I just sent him out for ice right now. <laughs> Let's see how long it takes him. He'll probably get lost and call me. So I was just playing roulette and I bet heavy on 16. And every time I bet heavy on 16 and called it out, it was five different times. It fucking smacked. I started with 300 and I walked away with 3,300. Fucking insane. Highlight of the trip already. This is a sad excuse for Vegas. It's fucking dead. Yo, so we're playing roulette. I told Rob, bet zeros. He's like, what? I was like, put money on zeros right here. He put it, bam, hit 550. No cap. This guy's the plug right here. No luck. cap. I'm the fucking plug on roulette. I smacked roulette tonight. Hard. They didn't even give me a free room. How do I get my free room? What up? Day two, fuel run. How you feeling, Pops? Feeling good. I got to go 200 miles an hour, and I met a lot of really cool people with a lot of fast cars. A lot of fun. Yeah. I feel a little like shit. I only had two drinks last night and I feel hungover. I can't drink no more. I rarely drink and when I do, it's not good. And but we're on our way to breakfast and the driver's meeting and we're going for a drive, I think through the Valley of Fire Valley or Fire. Red Rock or something. I don't know where, but somewhere though. Sit back, enjoy. 
Waiting in line for breakfast. I definitely don't feel good. I'm tired. I feel so hungover over two drinks. What the fuck? I'm tired of this fucking mask bullshit. So I'm not gonna wear it until I order my fucking meal. I remember coming to Vegas and drinking bottles. Bottles. Every night. Like it never stopped. I don't know how I did that. I think when you're in your 20s, you're fucking invincible. Getting gas for breakfast, and I drove all the way here with this hog on the front. Look at that fucking thing. The key is you gotta spit on it before you slap it on. That's how I got it to stay. Everyone was taking pictures of my car. Everyone loves it. <laughs> Ready, Dad? Let's do it. See how long this dick lasts on my windshield. Oh, it's a full boner. We've got a full boner. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's hilarious. Oh, got her with the confetti. <laughs> Unicorn! <laughs> I'm gonna see how long it lasts. We'll see how fast we can get up to. Yeah, yeah, on that yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Lockers and quick disconnect. Hey, we'll crawl this shit, no problem. You're like doing donuts. Dude, my perfect latte in about six inches of fucking mud. Oh my god. Dude, after you're fucking <laughs> tripping, bull. <Look. laughs> the mud just caked up in the fucking. Oh my god. Why did you do that? <laughs> I was drunk and there's 400 people there egging me on. <laughs> Before people tell you to do a donut in the fucking field, you go do a donut in the yeah, field. Yeah, fuck, I guess. <laughs> the security guard lady said if we do anything over here, we're gonna get a big ticket. <laughs> yeah. I was all, they won't, they're chicken. She's like, you better tell him to be real chicken about that or he's gonna get a big ticket. Weak.
Time to go. So this red Ferrari went to go do donuts. Oh, that ranger's about to go get whoever just left. Oh, he's definitely getting a ticket. Fuck. Whoever just left is fucked. Just like this guy. <laughs> Yo, this fool is screwed. So he went to go do donuts and the park ranger literally jumped this fucking median and like literally pulled in front of him as he was doing donuts. It was crazy. We got the rangers. They're trying to bust us. Trying to get us driving crazy in here because they knew we drove crazy on the way out here. What up now? Some dope ass scenery right there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Little mob too. Is that another ranger down there? Oh, it looks like it. Go, go, go. Fuck it, we're mobbing. Fuck a ranger. Yeet. Go shop. He says, "I don't, I don't this, feel this cool with you guys." Not cool, bro. He wants to be dripped up and dripped down like Mr. Drip Master over here. Sleep. He <laughs> got the Diamond G-Shock, son. Damn, Watch bro. out, MTV Cribs. I need to go to sleep. No, you don't. He hasn't slept yet. He pulls a psychopath. He suck dick, cause that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> he owes me a blowjob from last night. Hey, want some real shit? He said it out loud in the. Were you there? Yeah. No, he told me about it. Oh yeah. I said that shit out loud. On the roulette wheel, right? He said, yeah. Because I told him, bet zero and double zero on the roulette. I was like, bet this, bet this. Because I was on another table dick. and he fucking bet it and hit it for 550. And I was like, bro, I'll suck your little dick. And he's like, if it actually hits, I'll suck your dick in your front of everybody. Dick, your, your little dick. And then boom, what oh, you happens? Say little. You hit, you owe me a blow job. Yeah, straight up. I can't say That's that. a bro job. You can't say no to a bro job. Your lips are shining right now. <laughs> <laughs> I need to sleep. <laughs> I, had, I had higher higher expectations this year. Yeah, you're kind of fucking falling behind, bro. Hey, what are we doing after this? I don't know. Partying. Staying up all night again? For sure. Yeah. Driving home tomorrow is going to suck dick. That's going to suck. Lucky for you two assholes, you don't got to drive. Yeah, no, I hope this bag gets drive. Yeah. You know, being a faggot isn't so bad. I get 20% off at the exporting <laughs> goods. <laughs> What's up, motherfuckers? What up? Well, this is it. Time to take our bitch ass home. The drive back is always fucking horrible because we're hungover. I stayed up till like 9 a.m. being a fucking scumbag. I'm hurting today. We got a nice, lovely drive all the way back to motherfucking LA. Goddamn, but this is one of the funnest rallies I've been on, period. I think it's definitely took the top spot for the number one rally. So, got to bring Pops, show him a good time. It was successful. Hopefully we make it home with no tickets. I'm fucking take my ass to bed when I get home. Damn. All right, I'm home. I'm fucking beat. Time to take a shower. Call it a night. It's been real. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button and all that good stuff. Peace.